Hmm, maybe I should have started this part over here. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! Who is this mysterious being? Masquerade, the power of darkness deck. Oh yes, sit at the dueling table. Dun 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 dun. And his mask is gonna remind you of something. <laughs> I am Masquerade. Six prize cards. Dun 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 dun. The power of darkness deck. So, compared to yesterday, this should be like all different duels. <laughs> I. I nearly had to change my pants from that Zapdos. <laughs> anyway. Um. Alright, star you. Six prize cards, as promised, and I go first. I got two bills, so... Uh, I was gonna say, if I don't have a basic Pokémon, I'll probably get one after using two bill. Uh, Dugong, energy removal, already a very nice start. Uh, plop that on there in case of Dragonair, break glass. And... I should probably immediately start slapping. It's got that nice 1 for 20 effect. As you know, the 1 for 20s are pretty nice. Headache, right? I mean, oh yeah, yeah, this, that's right, this isn't the Psyduck that causes headaches. This one is the one that draws cards. I was thinking of the other Psyduck. This is the Dizziness and Water Gun variety of Psyduck. Alright, energy removal right off the bat, of course. And, but yeah, those are both the same, yeah. I was gonna say, both the same Clefairy, but I wasn't sure. Um, mm, I've got super energy removal, by the way, so that's not going to be in his favor. And slap! He's probably going to be just, just going to go over to this Clefairy and not attach any energy to Psyduck unless he wants to draw some sort of card desperately, which he probably won't need to because he's got Pokemon Trader, Dark Golduck, and Dark Clefable comes out. So I guess he's gonna put all of his focus into the Dark Clefable? Probably? We'll see. Yeah, after the Clefairy, evolve right? No? Not going to? Or are you just gonna try and surprise me when you're gonna evolve it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, put the other star you on there. And I... Mm. Mm. Do I want an energy removal that to prevent swinging fingers? Nah, probably not. I got the other star you. <laughs> I should be just fine. Alright, and he'll probably just evolve it. That's my best guess. Oh, two recycle energies. Swinging fingers puts to sleepies, sleepies. But Star, you could wake up, of course. That's another reason why I didn't just outright energy removal it. And then it wakes up. <laughs> uh, I, I might actually set him back two turns by just energy removing that in general. You know? Uh, I don't know if I want to use or set up that many energy on anything in particular. Though, uh, I think I'll just go for the slap. Because maybe having all the energy on the Clefairy and then him evolving it into Dark Clefable will make him think everything is going to be okay and then I just super energy removal it. So, oh, you put that on Clefairy instead of... Why wouldn't you... Like, why would you... Because you could have kept me sleeping with the Clefable, maybe. I don't... Are you just... Are you trying to protect yourself with the power of the Darkness Veil? Because it reduces damage at random? Maybe? I don't see it being able to prevent that much in the long run. Just, okay, it prevented 10 damage, but I mean, like, when I get... When I get some sort of ace going here, that's gonna be... Doom. <laughs> oh, man, asleep. And... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and... Is asleep. It also attacks my bench Pokémon, but I... They have a lot of HP. Well, I... Well, maybe not Staryu and Dratini, but they're... They're good for now, I mean. I'll take four of those attacks. Oh, Staryu didn't wake. Uh, oh, Pokémon Trader. Now that's something here. Uh... Now, do I, do I want to go for a seal, or do I want to go for Dragonair? Because seal, I could basically go... 
Oh, I think I, I should actually go for Seal instead, because Seal is going to provide consistent damage, while uh, uh, Dragon Arrow will end up being coin flips at the start. So yeah, I'm going to go like that. And... Since I won't be attack <laughs> attacking up my Staryu anyway... Oh, what a shame! <laughs> I told you that was coming! <laughs> oh, I didn't forget! Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Alright, going to Clefairy, because that, that's bounced back to his hand after the discard. Hmm, Stir, you wakes up. Um, and I probably should put all my focus into the Dugong then. And call it a turn. And another Dark Clefable Soul. He could actually double the, double, uh, double the damage reduction there, possibly. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. It's like, it's all, it's all like... I don't know, it all stacks on itself in a way, but at the same time, when you do it, like if you're doing a lot of damage, it won't make that big of a difference, and I'm back on saying like again. <laughs> uh, ooh. Wait, wait, do I wanna. Do I wanna evolve to star me to stall, or do I wanna save it for the other star you? Probably save it. I'll do that. Because I, I think I could star freeze, but yeah, with the double colorless. A little surprise. Call it a turn. And see what we get. Dark Song. Please, no heads, thank you. Because <laughs> I would do the damage to my bench Pokemon as well. So that, I guess that's the biggest threat per se, is you know the, the damage to said bench Pokemon. But anyway, do go. <laughs> and remember, it's it's randomized whether or not Darkness Veil will work. So I could do the full 50 with Dugong, though it's unlikely I'll actually be able to pull that off. Uh, I'm gonna go Wiggly. And save the double cut list for whoever is best for that at the moment. I could put it on either of them. You know, Dragonair or Wiggly, but... For now, let's Aurora Beam. Hope for 40. Preferably 40. Got 30. Just one, one shy. That's okay. At the very least, it would have done 10. Even if it did, like, the absolute maximum pre uh, damage prevention with both of those, so... And we're still in pretty good shape overall. I think I'm gonna actually attach that to there. And Roar Beam, that Dark Clefable. 30 again. That is alright. And here comes the other one that's also got enough power to potentially maybe do some decent amount of damage. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, Lapras, that's gonna be Wiggly Tough Fuel. So we're gonna do that. And. Aurora Beam. I was, I was thinking Ice Beam for some reason, but I don't have the energy for that because I already... Oh, it didn't prevent any damage! Uh, but yeah, I was thinking because of the... Um, uh, I attached to the Dugong for some reason, I don't know. And sleep happens, but will it wake? That is the question. Not too concerned about the benches, this is kind of in decent shape, no wakey-wakey. So I guess Dugong will be getting a knockout knockout. Oh, um... That won't make much of a difference, will it? I'll hold it into my hand. I mean, I'll keep it in my hand. Um, and see how things go, because he might actually end up flipping heads again, and then actually hitting the Jigglypuff, and he did, so I prevented 10 damage against my Jiggly on the bench. I think that actually is uh, a knockout to my Dratini? Is that correct? Oh no, it's not, that's right, it's, it's the third time he did that. Alright. And you don't have any bench Pokémon, do you? What a shame. What a shame. Oh, no! <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna do the wave and just finish it, but, uh, whoops. Well, whatever. <laughs> oh, it didn't wake up. I, I don't think it much matters anyway, because I think I, I think I got this one in the bag. <laughs> and no wakey. Yeah, I clicked through that a little bit too quickly, menu-wise. Oh, Professor Oak, why oh, hello. Uh, might as well see what I get out of it. Just why not? Could have won last turn by just doing the wave anyway. <laughs> that was my Dragonair. That prevents the KOing of the Dratini. And. I clicked it properly this time. <laughs> so, yeah, his deck isn't that threatening overall, but it's definitely more threatening than the last two guys, so. I, th I I don't know if I should rebattle him, I don't think it'll be any different, in all honesty. A booster pack for winning present. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll 
I'll kind of debate myself off camera whether or not I want to reduel him or not, so. Hmm, yeah, I don't think there's anything new, so. <laughs> Farewell. Alright, Mr. Spooky. Alright, Nurse Joy. There's a stone statue here with an inscription. Ghostmaster Anna. Confusion damage deck. I guess what her strategy is. Good afternoon! Do I finally have a customer? I'll gladly take your order if you have a seat at the table. Yeah, it's not a nurse. It's actually a waiter. I should say waitress, excuse me. How do you do? My name is Anna. Would you like to order a card doodle? Please pay you at six prize cards. <laughs> so we're back to the fire fortress. <laughs> Alright. So, what can we do versus confusion? Well, I guess just play like normal, basically. I don't know. <laughs> um. I got energy removal. I probably should start with the Star U for maximum damage output and power up Lapras on the side. And we begin! Ghastly will immediately be able to start stopping my trainer cards, but I don't think that's really... I mean, yeah, it could cause confusion, but with the energy removal... Uh, well, I guess I won't be able to energy removal, but I mean, I'm gonna be able to just outright knock out that Ghastly, regardless if he stops me from using trainer cards. So what he might do is do another Ghastly on the bench, you know, power up that other Ghastly to try and cause darkness to, Yeah. I mean, I said he, not she, my bad. But <laughs> yeah. The, uh... Uh, which Ghastly? Yeah, see, it's the other Ghastly she's powering up. Because I already did the damage output that I wanted to. That That's why I did the Staryu, just in case of... You know, just meant to maximize damage. And that means that Ghastly is getting an energy removal. So that worked in my favor. She wasn't able to do anything with her normal Ghastly that she had... Well, regular Ghastly she had out there, and then... I just kind of popped the other energy off the Ghastly and set her back. And Hypnosis, well, that's certainly not Confusion, but it's a status effect, I guess. And I wake up! And it's 50-50, so you cannot never really rely on that, per se. Put the star you on there for the future. And slap away! And yes, I am focusing on the Lapras powering up on the side, as I said, so... Getting a triple water gun or confusion going at any time would be pretty useful. As a matter of fact, I could even switch into it, uh, assuming I wake up, you know, just water gunning into it, but I don't know if I really want to do that. Because it seems like I'm burning energy for no good reason, you know? So I think I'm just gonna go save the energy in my hand there, and power up the other critter for the meantime, and leave the star you out, because Execute's not really that big of a threat to anything? I mean, yeah, it could prevent me from attacking, but that's not that big of a threat, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's... And Leech Seed requires two grass, so... Good luck with that one. Uh, <laughs> so I, don't, I don't see that coming anytime soon. Uh, wait, wait. I should probably go... like that. And if I get any kind of Pokémon, uh, unless it's Wigglytuff, I'll trade it for the Wigglytuff using Pokémon Trader, and I got Bill, so I'm probably gonna get a Pokémon pretty soon. And Clefairy's getting the energy, may cause paralysis, be warned. Oh, and you know, uh, since she's using Psychic, if I'm using my colorless Jigglypuff line, that's kind of resistance, you know what I mean? I mean, she's got the Clefairy and stuff like that as well, but anyway, that's Bill. Need another bill. It's always like I bill into a bill. It's like it's like the law system. Where every bill introduces another bill uh, introduces another <laughs> Um I don't have anything to trade right now, but I think I'm gonna get something eventually, so I'll just go for the wiggly tough outright. Since I know I'll be able to get one at some point. Well I shouldn't say I know that. It could be very well be possible that all the trainer cards and all the energy cards are on the top of my deck, and and all the wiggly tough. I mean, I mean, yeah, all the Pokemon and stuff are at the very bottom that I can't trade for the wiggly tough. <laughs> all right, so will he be? But will she, why do I keep saying he? It's like I battled too many guys here. <laughs> well, well, what, there wasn't really anything to. Was there no? Well, I mean, there was the. 
Yeah, it's a traitor, but I got two traitors. Uh, let's go for the other star, you. Let's do that. Energy removal. Yeah, it did end up being the traitor, but, you know, since I got that super energy removal, it would be a shame if someone were to suck away those energy cards, wouldn't it? Uh... And we slap away. It does zero, but that is okay. <laughs> and we wait. Yeah, that, um, harass. Wait, wait, actually, wait, how did that... Actually, wait a second. How'd that... Oh, Dark Claw Fable, that's right. I was gonna say, how'd that do zero? I thought harass had a the secondary... <laughs> I forgot he's... She's running Dark Claw Fable like he was in the last game, yeah. Ooh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, now I can trade. But do I want to trade the Dragonair? I suppose, if I'm going to be harassed. And get the Wiggly. Uh, assuming one's on in here, and there's both in there. Wiggly on the Jiggly. Pop that on there. I'm not going to be doing, like, mass damage. I'm mass I'm on the like thing again. I'm not going to be doing mass damage with the Wiggly, because I don't have a full bench or anything like that. But it's got the Psychic Resistance, so... That's primarily what I'm going for here, because I'll be able to continually nick away at Dark Haunter, even with 20 damage with Do the Wave, so... Not really that big of a deal or anything like that if she were to KO... And oh, there's a Dragonair Returns! Unless it's not the same Dragonair copy! I don't know, we'll never know! <laughs> um, okay... Mm -hmm. And you'll come to think of it, if I return stuff to the deck, that forces me to shuffle. So even if there were a bunch of Pokémon at the bottom of the deck, now they aren't anymore! Anyway, let's slap. Let's see if we can get bypass that Clefable. No, we cannot! Yeah, how did I forget all about that Clefable? I don't know. Why did I think that Harass actually had a secondary effect? That would be really OP if it also prevented damage. And yeah, I can't do anything with the Dugar right now. Don't know why I double-clicked it. I'm just kind of absent-minded at the moment. Oh, Dark Clefable did not prevent any damage that time. And the switch of semi-expectedness was coming. Why I say semi-expectedness is because you could still do a bunch of damage with that, but... Mm, I guess I'll just hold on to that stuff. I suppose. Uh, well... Do I want to start? Actually, wait a second. I probably want to start wiggling. Because <laughs> I got the Psychic Resistance. Oh, that... I did it again! Well, maybe it'll stay asleep. <laughs> That's not my... Nope, it didn't. That wasn't my plan, but yeah. Uh, it, it still works, in a way, because I got the Psychic Resistance, so... Still won't be able to do anything. Teeny. So that's my next line that I'm gonna go for. Do the wave. 40 now. Because the bench is getting filled up there. And... Let's go straight to the Dragonair. And... I did it. <laughs> I did it properly. <laughs> Alright. Oh, she didn't seem too happy. She's crying. I'm sorry, but one of us has got to win this game. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It could possibly end in a draw if there's some sort of recoil attack. Uh, Dark Song. Ooh, it worked. And Bench Pokemon attacked Boots. But will it be that big of a deal? Maybe? I, I mean, I'm continually powering up Do the Wave, so... Probably not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Star you. Hmm. Well, actually, wait, wait. I should go double colorless. And I'll save those as a surprise. You know, the, the other two Pokémon in my hand, the power up Wigglytuff's do the wave, so, yeah. Alright, Wigglytuff will wake eventually, and when it does, that Clefable is toast. No bench attack that time, but oh, it always does 20 to my active Pokémon. Nothing resists a colorless critter. Water? Wait, wait, actually... I should put them on now, because then I can begin powering up them. And I'll, I'll just focus on the star you for now and do the wave. Voila! Oh, no damage prevention whatsoever. So she's going to want to switch that. Oh, she didn't! She 
really wants to put me to sleepy sleepies and maybe do some bench damage to boot, perhaps? Could be. I don't know, you just keep nicking away there and I'll just hopefully wake up and do the way. If not, next turn I will be able to wipe Dark Clefable off the map. <laughs> and, oh, that's actually... Oh, I should save that, yeah. Because um, I got the seal. And I can get that to Dugong if I have two more energy for the Aurora Beam. So, we'll keep that going. She'll be able to knock out my Wigglytuff eventually, but in the meantime, then, I'll have Dragonair. And then after that, I'll have the Dugong. So I think I'm in pretty decent shape here. And yeah, this just does not have the power of the Double Slap. You gotta get both heads to do any sort of damage to Wigglytuff, so... Um, wait, wait, actually... Do I want to attack anything right now? Maybe I don't. I'll just do the wave. <laughs> it's not a Dark Jinx, so Clefable is not going to reduce damage to it. Randomly. <laughs> Alright, I'm ho I'm rooting for you to get two heads. Oh. <laughs> nope. That's another zero. Alas. Alas. Uh, energy... Wow. Uh Oh wait, that's right, you don't have the Dark Clefable. Oops, well... <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna do this to... The Dark... No, wait, no, no. Actually, I'm... maybe I should hold off on that. Because I was thinking that maybe she'd decide to use her ass... And shuffle up my trainer cards. But at the same time, is that really that big of a threat when I could just attack with anything after I knock out Jinx? Yeah! <laughs> so I'm just gonna do the wave, and if she wants to harass me, she can. Just, the retaliation will be massive, but this, actually that, that Ghastly won't make it through a turn itself, so... Uh, I think I've got this duel in the bag. Unless Confusion hits? Ooh, it did. It did, so I might actually end up knocking out Wigglytuff in on itself. Maybe? Possibly? At the very least, I'm gonna do this. Suck those off, and you know what, as long as I'm playing mean, I might, <laughs> might as well do that. Oh yeah, I didn't play seal and play yet, because it's kind of... Well, let's try it, just for the fun of it. Because, oh, it's over. <laughs> I was going to say, just to see if I knock out my own Wiggly, because she's not going to be able to use the two energy attack anyway, because I super energy removaled it, so... Eh, I win! <laughs> Thanks for your business! Here's a booster pack for your change! <laughs> and let's see what we get. Oh, nice! Pokemon Breeder! And... Oh, that coughing. This one is pretty nice. The Foul Gas, remember that? Heads, poison, tails, confused. It's like you can't lose that coughing. Only it's too energy to use that, so. Alright. Thank you very much for the battle. I'll be waiting for you to return. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I battle the last Ghostmaster and maybe have a rematch versus someone else, or I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I'll think about it. Still thinking about it actually.